To set up our products, we need to go to our configuration product menu. In here, we need to set up our default product. This will set up a base set of settings for each additional new product that we're going to set up. So the first thing we have to do is choose from the available types being seed, liquid or solid, which is granular and anhydrous. My implement isn't set up for anhydrous, so I won't tick that box. Um, the most common product we're going to be setting up uh, may be a solid such as a fertilizer, um, the normal target rate, and what increment you want that to change by every time you hit the rate up or rate down button. And we can also change the units that that's going to measure in, whether it's a percentage jump or uh, just in kilograms. Uh, calibration factor, there is a table in the back of the uh, air cut uh, tuning guide that will help you with a basic calibration factor, uh, depending on your target rates, the implement width and ground speed and so forth. Uh, so once again, that calibration factor will be updated once we do the product calibrations. The last thing we set up is the actual density uh, as a default density in there. And that really comes into play if you've set the actual bin capacity up in litres instead of kilograms. So it knows how to do the uh, calculations telling you how many kilograms you've got left out of a uh, 3000 litre bin, for example. After that's done, you return back to the product configuration menu and then we'll look at our product database. In here, we can click to add a new product. And what we're doing here, it's got 30 predefined products already. Uh, now they're all set up with our default uh, settings. And the first thing we can do is go and rename them. So in here, I might uh, give it a name DAP. Uh, it's gonna be a solid of fertilizer. Uh, I might give it a target rate of 60 kilograms to the hectare. And every time we uh, tap the up down button, it's going to jump uh, five kilograms to the hectare difference. And we'll update the calibration factor um, when we do the calibration. So once done, we'll go back out to the uh, configuration menu unless you have other products to set up.